Dante's Boxing Nation, Dante's Cooking Nation. We are out here. Where are we at? We are out here in Bangkok. There you go. She's from Ireland. Matter of fact, introduce yourself to the world. My name is Hannah and I'm from Ireland and I'm the biggest fan of the You hear that? Yeah. Hi, biggest fan. And I'm what? from Ireland. Sorry. No, I, I can edit it. Don't worry about it. All the way in Bangkok, in Bangkok, Thailand, y'all. No, I'm get in it right Ireland as well. In Ireland, you hear that? <laughs> DBN is my, international, my, guys. My <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Man, oh man, what is going on with Team Mexico? That's what I want to know. So now we have to add a new Mexican fighter to the list, to the long list of Mexican fighters that continue to turn down title shots or title eliminators. It's just recently been reported that Jose Ramirez has surprisingly turned down a title shot against Regis Progre. Now, Jose Ramirez claims the reason why he turned down this fight is because he wanted a 50-50 split, not the 65-35 split that he's going to get in this fight because it's going to purse bid and because obviously Regis Progre is the champion. Now, let me tell you the many reasons why Jose Ramirez cannot use that excuse. Because there was a time when Jose Ramirez was the champion and Regis Progre had been Jose Ramirez's mandatory for a very, very long time. So they ordered Ramirez to fight his mandatory Regis Progre. And at that time, it was Ramirez that was getting the bigger slice of the pie. He was the one that was getting the 65-35 split and he still turned down the fight. So that completely debunks that excuse. It's very clear, Jose Ramirez has been avoiding Regis Progre his entire career, and he's still avoiding him now. So now Jose Ramirez, he wants to fight Richard Comey next, a guy coming off of a loss and a draw, and he's only won one fight out of his last four fights. And what makes Ramirez look even worse is the fact that he's gonna make a lot less money against Comey than he would have made in a title shot against Regis Progre. These fighters that you guys are looking at right here on the screen, they don't care about splits. They don't care anything about the money. They only care about being embarrassed. Isaac Cruz and William Zapata, they turned down the biggest paydays to avoid Shakur Stevenson in the title eliminator. Canelo Alvarez was getting way more than 50% when he turned down the biggest offer of his career. It would have been his biggest payday against Jamal Charlo and Canelo turned it down. So this has nothing to do with splits. It has nothing to do with money. We know what time it is. Team Mexico understands when it comes to the black Americans, they are on a whole different level. I'm starting to feel that Team Mexico, they're looking at all of these black fighters as Michael Jordans and Kobe Bryant's and LeBron James. At least this is the way they look at the undefeated top elite black American boxers. You know, the funny thing is, if Ramirez would have never pulled out of the Zapata fight in the first place, and if he would have beat Zapata, he would have got more than 50-50 against a pro gray. He would have been the one getting the 65% of the split. But we all know, even with that split, he still wouldn't have took the fight because he didn't take it when he had the 65 split like two years ago, and they were trying to force him to fight pro gray. See, I'm going to tell you, What's going to happen to Jose Ramirez is the same thing that happens to every other fighter that tries to avoid dangerous black fighters. Just like Teofimo Lopez, he kept looking for the safer fights. He kept looking for the cherries. And then what happened is one of those cherries end up biting him back. And now Teofimo Lopez, he loses to George Cambosis for a fraction of what he would have made against Devin Haney, win, lose, or draw. And this is why I keep saying, if you're gonna lose to somebody, then you might as well lose to someone for the biggest payday, right? After all, Jose Ramirez is trying to make it seem like this is all about the money. But if that's the case, Jose must be terrible at math because he stays making less money. He's gonna make less money to fight Richard Comey, and then once again, he's gonna end up losing to somebody else for less money as well. Now let's switch gears to Teofimo Lopez. Now that Jose Ramirez has passed up on the title shot, guess who's next in line? It's Teofimo Lopez. 
You know, before Jose Ramirez uh, pulled out of this fight, everyone had already assumed that Jose, he was going to fight against Regis Progre because people started to talk about a possible fight, you know, when T.O. was going back and forth saying, you know, he wanted to fight Regis Progre, he wanted to fight Josh Taylor. I kept reading reports that T.O. is going to have to wait for a Regis Progre fight because Regis has to fight his mandatory Jose Ramirez first. Now that Jose is out of the way, T.O. Fima Lopez, he has no excuse to take this title shot against Regis Progre. He keeps saying he wants Josh Taylor or Progre, but Josh Taylor is going to be unavailable for a while because he still has to fight Catterall. That fight keeps getting pushed down the line. And now him and Regis Progre are on the same schedule. They both just had a fight, so they're both available. Teofimo Lopez, he said he wanted Regis Progre or Josh Taylor next. Let's see how serious he is. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.